in blue. David McFall, how's your um, what's your opinion on this one? Wow, well, well um, let me see here. I, I I like Nishiyama. Um, I think he's he's shown throughout the day kind of more solid judo, and he really showed it that last match. I, I have to go with him. Lee, he could pull off. There's no doubt about it. But he was a little more tentative. He wasn't as uh, aggressive in that last match. He got Bozboyev in the end, didn't he? Yes, he did. But at the very end. <laughs> it took him a while. Um, Kato, Kato, he's, uh, he's seen off Kato earlier on. That's right. But as we were saying, Kato does not do very well against uh, non-Japanese. Nishiyama's had the harder day, hasn't he? To be he honest. Has. He, um, he had a tough one, as you say, with uh, Shimawada and then Roman Buffet. And in his opening one, well, um, Kozlowski of Poland. Anyway, here we are at the final of the men's under 90 kilo category. And that will go a nice little entry there by Lee for a second. And kind of a slow twisting, very, very low. Which you might attempt there by Nishiyama. They are five finals that we've got. Only one of them um, is without a Japanese. And that would be? Silver and uh, Kim in the men's plus 100, which is exactly where the um, Japanese are looking for their... Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's like the great white hope, isn't it, in boxing? It's becoming that way. The it's, Japanese it's looking for the heavyweight it's champion. The, it's the great Suzuki Inoue hope. Oh, nice big attempt from him. And he went straight for the arm when he missed the um, the Osoto there. Well, they're speaking of Inoue Kose, mm -hmm. maybe you could share with the audience the fact that you share with me as far as the weight differential between Silva and Chichinohe. 56 kilos. It must be a... Well, one lightweight women's Japanese player. Yeah, that was the... Uh, yeah. Giving away 56 kilos usually is going to be very tough. Unless you're Kato at the All Japans. <laughs> but even then, I think he only overcame a 40 kilo differential. That was a huge amount of weight to be giving away. He never looked, it didn't look that way though. No. I think he really gave a good account of himself, did uh, Chichinoe. Yeah. That was the big Osoto in there. And then maybe thinking about the arm. Uh, but well, he really had the arm tied mm. up there. See as they test the strength as they're trying to get to their grips. It was um, obviously. You know, a bit of a disaster for the Japanese that they didn't top the medal table in London in the judo. It must have been doubly galling for them. The Koreans would have beaten them into second place. That's right. Not only pushed off the top, but pushed even further down. By their fiercest rival. Yeah. I mean, they... They could make all these excuses as far as the Europeans and physical strength and body types, but I don't think they can do that with the Koreans. And I think the Koreans have showed their their metal. They really, really. Well, if you look at the um, the attitude um, with regard to physical preparation that the Koreans have, it's completely different from the Japanese, isn't it? You know, you've got these really honed and chiseled bodies of Wang Kichun, Kim Jae Bung. Sundanam is a little bit different. He's not. He hasn't quite gone down that route. But it, you know, you wouldn't. Um, suppose there'd be a few women turning their heads on on a beach, 
Yep. He looks pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I have never bought in the argument that uh, somehow the, the Europeans, they have some sort of advantage in terms of physical strength. It's just a matter of training. All you have to do is look at the Japanese women wrestlers or the Japanese men gymnastics. They're yeah. all cut. Absolutely, They're yeah. with physical specimens. And it's just Especially a matter of... the gymnasts. Oh. Incredibly... Um, Uchimura, the, the, the uh, all-round champion... See, Lee, Lee's Serenegi is his saviour and his downfall. Because he's so on the edge of a false attack with some of those um, efforts. Yeah, he's just basically turning in and dropping his knees to the ground. Not doing much with his hands sometimes. Look at this, just 30 seconds left in this match. No scores, just the one warning to Nishiyama. Yeah. This is going to go into golden score. Nishiyama block that. Another no, big um, lunge there from Nishiyama. He kind of lunged and then tried to get the grip, I think. I didn't see a solid grip before he came in. Big and brave that was. A few people we gotta go and um, settle some. Look at that! Look at that! Oh man! A couple of times he's thrown himself in there. That's gotta have hurt the shoulder there, Kim. Ooh. Gotta looking for the Maki Komi. <laughs> Oh man. He must have wondered where his arm was for a moment. This is what I mean when I talk about Korean fighters being tough. He didn't win, so he didn't take a break. Golden score period has started and he leads straight into it. Nishiyama's got a, you know, he, he's got that slow burn. Well, you had five minutes to warm up, you better be ready to go. Yeah, we're looking to go outside. Left Osodo. He will persist with his um, he drops in. I guess he attempts. You can tell that the huge um, cheering sections for the Koreans there. Here he goes again, and he's got him this time. That's it. He's got him. Couldn't quite cartwheel out. Nope. He goes over onto his back. Lee it is who takes it, throwing Nishiyama for Ippon. Well, you knew it was coming the whole time. Just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't stop prevent it. it. Yep. And that was such better quality attack than some of those other ones that yeah. were kind of lame. So the second gold medal for Korea. Just, the, just as they did in the Olympics, they take the um, 81 and the 90. They own the middleweights. That's it. They own it. Yeah. When they've still got somebody in the in the in the heavyweights that could pull it out too. That's right. Kim Sung Min is in there. He faces Rafael Silva. We've got to go and have a word with um, Maria Sue Ellen Alterman as well. Well, I have anyway. Just to congratulate her on that spirited performance. Yes. In the semi-final. She you know? got there. Yeah, because it, um, you know, if, if if I knock them on the one hand, or, or I ask a question of them and they come up with the answer, then you know I'm going to go and uh, congratulate them. So she put up a good fight.